Hey everyone, Roughneck 2 Charlie with a guide for Through Mud and Blood field manuals. First one's going to be at this first supply tent on your right hand side, as you see here. Next one's going to be in the church. All you do is clear out the enemies, take out the artillery, go right in through this front door, button hook right around to your left hand side, and you're going to see in amongst these cots another crate. Once you've gotten that crate, go ahead and head right back out and go out the back door. Swing around to your right hand side and you'll see some sandbags piled up with some crates. In next to those is another one. After you've done all that and you've cleared out Delta, go ahead and hop out. Head on over to the right hand side. You're going to see a couple wooden barrels. In between those barrels is going to be the fourth one for this mission. Once you've finished all of those, head towards the bridge, but don't go too far. Hop out when you get by these field guns, look on down to the right, and that's where you'll find the last one. Moving on to Fog of War. Once you've cleared the first camp, go ahead and let Big Bess push through the sea wire. Head right up the hill on the right hand side, and that is where you'll find the first one. Second one will be down underneath the second camp. Head on in, go to the left hand side, you're going to see a couple cots. In between these cots will be the second one. Third one is going to be about three quarters of the way across the large bridge that you have to clear out. Go ahead and jump down on the left hand side, turn to the right, and you'll see it down underneath. Fourth one's going to be in the final section. It's going to be in the machine gun nest on the left hand side. Just go up, head in the back side of it, and you'll see it on the left hand side. The fifth one is going to be on the opposite side, the far right. Swing right around near one of the tents, and you'll see the fifth one there. Moving on to the mission breakdown. Located down right to the left-hand side of the first engine piece you need to find, in the very last building, will be the first manual on the floor on your right. Go ahead and collect that. Then, move down to the left-hand side of the map to the about the third windmill you'll see. Head about three-quarters of the way up, and in front of a window, as you see here, is the second manual box. Then head straight down through the hole in the wall and across the courtyard where there's another engine piece located. I suggest clearing out the enemies throughout this area before doing any of this. It will make it a whole lot easier. Go ahead and head in to the second door on your left and head all the way to the very top. I suggest turning your brightness up because this is a very very dark building and it's hard to find. You'll see here that I'm firing off a few shots. Hopefully that will light it up enough for you. Now as a side mission, as you can see here, I'm holding a sword. This is for the achievement, Mightier Than the Shovel. Go ahead and head right down to the center of the village on the main road, and go into the building on the left where you see this sign. Right here, underneath this desk where I'm hitting, you'll find the sword. Moving on to the fourth manual. You want to head across the street from the building that you are in for the third. Head through this broken down wall and hit these double doors open. Head up to a couple flights of stairs and swing around on your left and behind this couch you'll find the fourth manual crate. The fifth one is going to be at the very end of the mission across this bridge. I suggest going in and clearing out the area beforehand. There's going to be a couple flamethrowers so it's going to make it difficult just to go through without killing everyone. Head to the left hand side and you're going to see the supply tent. Go ahead and head directly past that supply tent to this little barn in the back and you'll see it on the right hand side on the floor. That will be the fifth and final one. Now for the mission steel on steel, these are probably the five easiest manuals to find in the campaign. As you can see I'm headed into the windmill and on the bottom floor on the right hand side is a crate. It is the same exact thing for the remaining four windmills that you see me pointing out. So I'm going to let the video roll and again I want to thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to have videos out for the remaining missions breaking down the field manual locations as well. So until then this is Roughneck2Charlie and I'll see you very soon.